People stare at this car. It has presence, as it should. It's 17 feet long, and the grill has more surface area than a kitchen stove. But what is it? Who makes it? If you weren't watching this video on YouTube, where we tell you what the car is before you click on the video, you'd be asking the same questions. But when you ride in a Genesis G90, you're in the know. You know how fast it goes, how plush the interior is, and how much it costs. Less than 80 grand loaded. This is a large, old-fashioned luxury sedan with a new face. It's rare, and you just might want one. First, some history. Genesis doesn't have any. The G90 was the brand's first model to be designed specifically as a Genesis. It came out for 2017 to replace the Hyundai Equus, which set the stage for Korean luxury cars. The 2020 G90 is only a refresh, but it's setting the tone for the company's design language. Genesis is using rectangular LED headlights and bisecting them with thin turn signals. And the grill, <laughs> whoa, gotta step back to take it all in. It's like home plate on a baseball diamond, dipped in chrome. Another thin LED strip on each of the fenders acts as a turn signal. Walk to the back and these double dash taillights light up together. It's easier to see a G90 switching lanes than a Greyhound bus. The G90 has some more nice new details, like the way the Genesis logo is spelled out on the trunk lid or the exhaust tips resembling the shape of the grill. The hood is new with more creases, but it's these wheels that do the talking. They're a modern take on old wire spokes. I feel like I'm looking at the movement of a grandfather clock. And grandfathers, and anyone old enough to spend this kind of money, may like the G90 most of all. Nothing else about the G90's body has changed for 2020. We have a tall roof and a profile suggesting, well, a Lincoln town car. Give it a Florida license plate and it could be a 30-year-old car. And yet, from some angles, it looks futuristic. One of my friends just bought a new G70. I showed him this G90, and he called it a car out of one of the Grand Theft Auto video game series. The styling is similar to a car that you recognize, but they took just enough detail out to avoid copyright infringement. That's kind of what the G90 is. But who really cares when you get to sit in a place as nice as this? White leather everywhere. Smooth leatherette all over the dash and on the center console a soft micro suede roof. The G90 was already pretty nice, but for 2020, they've added three more color combos, including a dark blue and black. The wood trim now has a matte finish instead of gloss. The seats have a quilted stitch pattern, and every headrest gets a Genesis wing badge. Genesis patterned everything from the wood on these seat backs to the center stack after the last gen Audi A8. You see it everywhere. Now the smaller G70 has quilted leather on the doors. And the G90 doesn't. I'll tell you what else the G90 doesn't have, because remember, this is a car costing tens of thousands less than a Mercedes-Benz S-Class. No four-zone climate, just three. No massaging seats, no panoramic moonroof, no footrests. But whatever, I've got so much space, and I can do this. The G90 may feel a little dated inside, like this phone compartment that's too small for my iPhone 11. But the quality is excellent. Until the GV80 arrives, the G90 has the brand's best infotainment system. It's a touchscreen and can be controlled by a rotary knob. And it looks the part, not like it came from a Kia, like the one in the G70. And beyond the usual infotainment goodies, there's some treats in the G90. You can customize the engine sound effects when it's in sport mode. And you can ask the voice recognition software to help you deliver commands or not. And the seats, well, they're very comfortable, but they might make you feel badly about your body. Yep, pretend you're going to the doctor. Enter your height, weight, and pants inseam here, and the seat and steering wheel will adjust to an optimum position to support your back. I liked how I was sitting before, but all right, the G90 cares about my spine, which is a good thing, because this car launches like a spooked rabbit. Ooh, didn't expect that to happen. This is the standard engine. A twin turbo 3.3 liter V6 with 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. 
The G90 is so much heavier than the G70 and G80 with the same engine, but it takes off. It's so quiet in here that you don't notice how fast it gets. There's also a 5 liter V8 with 420 horsepower and 383 pound feet of torque. Don't bother, this V6 is really good. The 8 speed automatic is also a perfect partner. Rear wheel drive is standard. My car has all wheel drive and staggered 19 inch tires that are wider in the rear. Adaptive dampers are standard. But don't drive it hard. The G90 cannot handle like a BMW 7 series, not even close. The back end can kick out and under hard braking on a dry service, I felt the ABS activated. That was in sport mode, so just forget it. The G90 is set up for one driving style, cruising. And for that, it's as supple and smooth as it gets. Fuel economy is EPA estimated at 17 miles per gallon city, 25 highway, and 20 combined. That's for the all wheel drive V6. It's pretty good. I've been averaging about 19. In the V8, that's a bit thirstier. The Genesis G90 is the easiest new car to buy. There are no option packages. You just choose the powertrain. There's one catch. Only the V8 has those reclining rear seats and the backseat entertainment. Otherwise, every G90 is the same. CarGurus recommends our test car, which is a V6 with all-wheel drive, for $75,695 with destination. That's it. Seventy-five grand for a brand new full-size luxury sedan with a five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty and three years of service. You cannot find another car like it. If all you want is comfort at the greatest possible price, there's no better car than the G90. But that's the best it can do. Some of the styling is dated and generic, and the performance and amenities are not world-class. Still, Genesis is the car brand to be watching right now because the next G90 is going to be incredible. For full details, read my review at cargurus.com, and while you're at it, hit that subscribe button for our YouTube channel. Oh, hold on, Julian. All right, time to go. Yes, sir. See you next time.